AirPods Pro. This video is brought to you by Atmoco and their cordless hair clippers. I'll tell you more about them at the end of the video. Hello and welcome back to another Switched On Network video. I'm Paul FP and these are the Comfort Buds Pro from One More. They're wireless noise cancelling earbuds. And with a name like Comfort Buds Pro, I'm hoping that they'll A, be really comfortable in my ears and B, that they'll be good enough in terms of sound quality and noise cancellation to warrant that Pro name in the title. So the main features of this are noise cancellation. It has multiple noise cancellation modes. You've got strong, mild and WNR, which stands for wind noise resistance. So I'll be testing that out a little bit later. It's got AI powered environmental noise cancellation, apparently powered by three microphones. That's one on the outside, one at the tip, mainly for your speech, I think, and one on the inside. It's got a 13.4 millimeter ultra linear driver with extended bass. So I'll be testing out the bass sound there. And in terms of power, a 15 minute fast charge will give you two hours of playtime up to 28 hours of playtime combined. That's from the battery case and the earbuds themselves. However, if you turn on active noise cancellation, which you're probably going to do if you've got noise cancelling earbuds, then that does drop to six and 14, giving a total of 20 hours. That's still very respectable, not quite as much as Sony's new top of the line earbuds, but then bear in mind, these are less than half the price of those earbuds. These sit very firmly in the budget end of the market at less than £100. I think these are between about £80 and £85 at the time of recording this video and probably similar figures in dollars and euros. So it's not fair to directly compare these with things like the AirPods Pro from Apple and Sony's new top of the line earbuds. But we're going to be seeing what these are like in isolation and if I think they're any good. So let's get the box opened up. So this is the uh, first time I'm going to be opening these up here on camera. These were sent over by one more free of charge. But apart from that, they're not paying for this video. They've not told me what to say or anything like that. So here's the, uh, the battery case. These come in white or black. They have uh, nice red details on both of them. Get the first one out. You sort of press there and then lift out. Let's remove those in there. So that's the left one. Battery seal. I pop that back in, it should, there we are, charging. First impressions, it's a really nice, small, compact case. So that's nice for fitting in the pocket. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pop them in my ears and see what ambient noise here in the studio it gets rid of. The only real noise is I've got a window open because it's a really hot, humid day here in England. And there's also a computer whirring away in the corner there, which you probably can't hear on this little mic, but I can hear it to my ears. So this is the left. So they're in my ears, but I don't think the noise cancellation has kicked in yet. I hope it hasn't at least, because I can still hear that computer. Let's pair. Okay, so now, oh, I heard a chime. Noise cancellation is off at the moment, and I can definitely still hear the computer over there. So when I turn it on to strong, that works very well indeed. I can't hear the computer at all anymore. All I can hear is my tinnitus. <laughs> so that works very well. Turn it off. Yep, now I can hear the whir of the computer fan over there in the corner. That's very, very good. Can't argue with that at all. It's just totally gone. The sound of the computer over there is just gone. I've got an another couple of tests I'm going to do to test the noise cancellation. This is, of course, completely subjective and you won't really be able to hear this difference. So you're going to have to rely on me. So I'm going to turn the noise cancellation off. I hear a little doo -doo 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 in my ears. Uh, and then if I run the vacuum cleaner, obviously I can hear that perfectly clearly. But now I'm going to press strong noise cancellation whilst it's going and just see by how much it reduces. I don't for a minute expect it to go all together, but let's have a go. Mm. I can still hear it completely. It's taken away sort of the lower tone. It now sounds a bit more high pitched and tinny. I could definitely still hear that was on whilst it was running, obviously, because it's so loud and so near, but it did take away sort of all the, the bass and a lot of the mids and it just was giving me the, the high end. So that's, that's interesting turn noise cancellation off again. And for this one, I'm going to put a fan here. Right, so let's 
whack this fan onto full volume. This is the sort of sound that noise cancellation is really for, much more than you know, holding a Dyson next to your ear. So this is whirring array like this. And let's turn it on. I can definitely still hear that, but it's just the highs I can hear now, really, rather than the whole thing. So if you're sleeping in a really hot room and you need the fan on because you're too hot, but then the noise is keeping you awake, then yeah, I guess these could work. That's, uh, that's not too bad at all, that. I'm going to try the wind noise reduction next because if I get this to be pointed still, now this is probably going to sound awful for you because it's going to be blowing right at my mic. Now I can definitely hear that type sound in my ears. This is even with the strong noise cancellation on because of course the diaphragms of the little microphones are being uh, blown away. So now if I turn on wind noise reduction, <laughs> I heard a little sound effect in my ear. I don't know if it's made that much difference though. Turn it off again. Okay, so I can hear the wind and I think it's taken away a little bit of the bass. So with, with the wind noise reduction on, I can definitely still hear that sort of sound of the wind going against my ears. If I turn noise cancellation off altogether, Yeah, it, does, it gets a little bit more pronounced, a bit deeper and bassier. So it definitely does reduce it. I'm not saying it does nothing, but uh, it doesn't get rid of it altogether. I like the little sound effect though, that's nice. Enough playing around with fans. This is my only fan. Let's, uh, let's see what the sound quality is like on these. Load up YouTube music. That's good. That's good sound quality. Drums are coming in now. Listen. Obviously you can't hear this. I'm shouting now. That's at full volume. Sounded good at full volume, no distortion. One of the benefits, of course, of noise cancelling on your earphones is you don't need to have the music as loud if you want to drown out the world around you so it's possibly more comfortable to listen to and it's obviously better for your hearing as well. I'm going to put on some Foo Fighters. Let's play the Pretender. Sadly I can't give you any of these sound samples because of copyright but uh, this is really nice and clear. There's no bass yet. We're at 30 seconds, it's about to come in. The drums are coming in now. That's perhaps missing a little bit of low end. Something that's nice to see at this uh, price level is smart playback. This should auto pause the music when I take one of them out of my ears. And it has. Sorry if I was shouting there. So uh, I imagine this, uh, this little infrared sensor will be uh, how that works. And if I put it back in my ear, they should both play. Yep. That's really nice to see, especially at this price point. The buds that are in here seem, I, I would say, a little bit large for me. Normally, devices like this are fitted with the medium ones by default. But if we have a look at what else you get in here, we've got a little packet here which will probably have larger and smaller earbuds there that I can fit on. So, uh, so I'll try which, see which ones of those fit my ears best. You also get under here a little USB-C charging cable, charge the battery case, and a little pouch to keep all your bits and bobs in as well. Could you put the battery case in your little pocket, let's see. Would it fit in there? Yes, it would. That's uh, 
that's very nice to see. That fits really nicely in that pocket. Whereas some other ones I have, that wouldn't. So the battery case is of course the main thing you charge up and then that holds more charge than the earbuds and then that charges the earbuds from them. So you can charge up the battery case to full and when the earbuds run down, you pop them in the battery case and they keep topped up from there. This video is brought to you by AppMoco, who sent us over their hair clippers, which are something else from which you can ditch the wires and go wireless. With five hours of runtime, you can go literally months between charges. So if lockdown's left you battling with an unruly mop of hair and you want to be able to cut yours and your family's hair at home, this kit has absolutely everything you need, including 10 different multicolored attachments going from numbers one to eight, plus a left and right ear taper, barber scissors, comb, brush, carry case, and even a cape. It's USB chargeable, so it's super convenient. And even if you run it down, a 15 minute charge will give you 30 minutes of cutting time. Check out the link in the video description for more details. So verdict from my initial thoughts, the app seems good and easy to use. It's only got basic functionality. There's no EQ that I can see, which is a little bit of a shame, but you can use it to change the noise cancellation settings, change the smart playback, and also change uh, what happens when you touch and hold, double tap, or tap three times on the left and right. I think they feel feel comfortable in my ears. The sound quality seems good. A little bit lacking in the low end punch maybe. I'd like it to be a little bit firmer, um, but you know, very, very acceptable sound quality, especially if you're using them when you go out for a run or for a bike ride or something like that. If you are going for a run, then you'd obviously want to use pass through. The outside world is pumped in and mixed with the music so you can hear other cars and other hazards around you. But I'm impressed so far and uh, at this price point, when you get quality that's that's this good, why would you really spend more than double on Sony or Apple's top of the line earbuds? It may be a build quality thing, maybe those will last longer and, and these won't. Obviously, I've got no way of telling that because I've only opened these for the first time today. But uh, if you're watching this video and it's six or 12 months in the future, drop me a comment and ask me how they're going and if they're still good. But from what I see here so far, I'd have no hesitation in recommending these and I'll put an affiliate link in the video description if you'd like to buy some for yourself. But if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment below and let me know what earbuds you use if you use any at all. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the Switched On Network channel so you get lots more videos like this covering technology, gadgets and the internet. Uh, but that's it for today. Thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.